welcome to this week's episode of So You Want to Be a Superhero. Our contestant today is Callie, and she will be attempting to prove that she is a superhero by moving this giant rock. Give it up for Callie! Hey friends! I am so excited! Springtime is here, and my parents decided to give me my very own section of the flower bed for my own garden. I get to put seeds in it, take care of it, it is completely mine! The first thing I have to do is move this big rock out of the way. Here I go! She steps up to the rock she pushes. She pulls, she tugs, she stomps! The rock won't budge! It looks like we won't have a winner today. On, so you want to be a superhero. Wow, that rock sure is heavy. How am I going to take care of my garden if I can't get this rock out of here? While I think about it, let's check out today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Luke, chapter 19. Jesus was about to go into a city called Jerusalem. This was a very important place. Before he went there, he told two of his friends to go get him a donkey to ride into the city on. As he was riding into the city, people began to cheer and sing. They called Jesus the king. Some who were there thought that Jesus should tell those cheering and singing to quiet down. They were afraid of the people who were in power. They thought they might be mad that Jesus was being called king. But Jesus said to those people that if people stopped singing and cheering for him, then the rocks would start to cheer and sing and say Jesus was king. What? That doesn't make sense. Rocks can't talk, let alone sing. Jesus was saying that his power was greater than any other powerful person. Those powerful people may be the king of some things, but did you know that Jesus is the king of everything? He is, and not just humans. Jesus rules over everyone and everything. That's why he said that even if people stop calling him king, then nature and everything else in the world would continue to show that it is true. Jesus is the king of everything. Great news, friends. I moved the rock. Okay, I got my mom to help. She's really strong. As I listen to our Bible story, I realize something. I keep on calling this my garden when it isn't. I mean, I get to take care of it, but Jesus is the king of everything. So this is his garden, not mine. I'm sure Jesus could have easily moved that rock. But you know what else? Jesus could have made the rock sing praises to him. I wonder what song a rock would sing if a rock could sing. I'm going to start planting seeds in my, um, oops, I mean Jesus' garden. But I wanted to say a prayer first. Will you pray with me? Jesus, thank you for the chance to take care of this garden. It is yours. You are the king over everything. So help me to take care of it and help it to grow. Amen. So friends, did you know Jesus is king over everything? Of course you did. But sometimes we forget and we try to be king. King of the playground, king of the living room, king of the cookie jar. I was trying to be the king of my garden, but everything in this world belongs to Jesus. When we remember that, it's easy to sing songs and say thank you to Jesus, because that means Jesus is watching over us. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. Bye!